when paper money was introduced, it was redeemable for gold. What does redeemable mean? In Yes, exchange. In the United States of America, until the 1920s, you could take 20 US dollars in notes, paper, and go to any bank, and you can ask for one ounce of gold, and you'll get it. Hmm? If a man wants to cut your throat, he wouldn't be so silly as to show you the sword, the knife. He has to hide the knife first, all right? Get you to come close. So when paper money was introduced, it was redeemable in gold. And the banks that issued the paper money and the governments that issued the paper money, they gave their word that this is the value of the paper. And they even print on the paper, guess what they printed? In God we trust. Let me show you. Here is a U.S. dollar note, and you can come and see it with your own eyes if you want. It says, in God we trust. Hmm? In other words, when we give our word to you that 20 American dollars is equivalent to one ounce of gold, our word is as good and as solid as the word of God himself. But in 1933, something strange happened that should have caused our ulama to stop eating halwa. Uncle Sam was broke. So guess what Uncle Sam did? Uncle Sam was broke. So guess what Uncle Sam did? In April 1933, Uncle Sam enacted legislation prohibiting all Americans from keeping gold. You have to return any gold that you have, not jewelry, jewelry you can keep. Any gold that you have as coins or as bullion to Uncle Sam and he will give you paper. And you have to trust in God that Uncle Sam's word is as good as the word of God. So all of America gave their gold to Uncle Sam, meaning the U.S. government. If they caught you with gold after a certain date, then you could be fined 10,000 U.S. dollars and, and spend six months as a guest of Uncle Sam in one of his prisons. Hmm? So all of America went and gave their gold and took the paper. After Uncle Sam had collected all the gold, guess what he did? He gave his word, but he changed his word. This is called values. These are the people who today rule the world. They gave their word and they broke their word. Uncle Sam changed the price of gold from $20 an ounce of gold to $35 an ounce of gold. Huh? The American people woke up that morning and said, our own government ripped us off? Yes, it was your own government that ripped you off. And then Uncle Sam made it known, you better come back and buy your gold quick before I change the price again. <laughs> So the American people had to go and buy back their gold from Uncle Sam at $35 an ounce. And in the process, Uncle Sam ripped off the American people of almost half of their wealth. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, this transaction is one based on, on deception 
through which you get a profit to which you are not entitled. The Prophet ﷺ described this as riba. Why did this happen? Because the difference between real money and paper money, money which is sunnah and paper money, is that money which is sunnah is money in which the value of the money is in the money. Someone should teach that to the Saudis. Go teach it to the Saudis who want to teach Islam to all the rest of the world. Go teach it to the Saudis. The value of the money is in the money. The definition of the paper money is that the value of the money is no longer in the money. And so the value can be changed. Every time the value is changed, the value goes down. What happens when the value of money goes down? The first thing is that there is a massive transfer of wealth from the masses to that predatory elite, which in this case was the government, Uncle Sam. The masses lost half of their wealth, almost half. That's the first thing that happens when the value of the paper money goes down. What's the second thing that happens? The answer is this. I work for the whole month. I got my salary in gold. Could buy a camel. Took it home. <laughs> Put it underneath the pillow. Took it all after five years. You could still buy the camel. Ten years, you could still buy the camel. But when I get my salary in paper now, I can buy a camel, take it home, put it underneath the pillow. A few years later, when I take it out, can't buy a camel anymore. Could only buy a jackass now. <laughs> So now I'm beginning to feel like a jackass <laughs> because someone has ripped me off. Where did my money go? If you could answer that question, where did your money go? Who took your money? And how did they take your money? You would understand the game that they're playing. We used to have men like that. In North America, we had one Islamic scholar who was like that, and then they killed him. A man named Malcolm X. He didn't have a PhD from Al-Azhar, but he could see better than any sheikh. Who took my money? And how did they take him? Did they take it? Hmm? They had riba in their blood. <laughs> All right, you come close by me here. Mashallah, he's a brave boy, yeah? Sit down. I make a dua that one day you will also sit here on the chair. And you'll also give the lecture, inshallah. <coughs> a few years later, I take the money out of my pillow. Can't buy a jackass anymore. Can only buy a goat. A few years later, can't buy a goat anymore. Can only buy murgi. <laughs> Dajaja. Hmm? Chicken. I mean, you got to eat a lot, a lot of halwa, not to be able to see <laughs> that this is haram. But the distinguished muftis of Islam still have to declare that this paper money is haram. The rip-off has taken place. The thieves have looted everything. Our people are now in miserable poverty. Destitution, imprisoned in that poverty. Kad al-fakru an yakuna kufra.
said the Prophet ﷺ, that this poverty and destitution can lead a people to kufr and that is what is happening in many parts of the world. But the Mufti still cannot see that this is haram. You will not get a fatwa from the Mufti that this is haram, much less to get a fatwa from the Mufti that this is riba. Hmm? How is it taking place? They started 